Hey everybody, how you doing? Good morning. Welcome to another Crypto Convo with the BitConnector. Myself, Steve Nelson Jr. Hey, as we all know, there is a Bitcoin craze going on and you can go ahead and get up-to-date news, info, investing ideas, investing scams, stuff to look out for, what you can do to grow your assets right here on the Crypto Convo daily with the BitConnector. So do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, mash that post notification bell so you can get alerts when new videos are uploaded that may be able to help you out if you're learning about Bitcoin or if you're just new to the Bitcoin community or maybe you're even a seasoned vet. Now I want you guys to know that I just got into this after people had uh, friends of mine and associates of mine, business associates, had been talking to me and my wife for about five years uh, about really getting into Bitcoin we decided just a couple of weeks ago to take the leap. Of course, I think it would have been better if we would have taken the leap when Bitcoin was $5 a coin, like we were asked uh, five, six years ago. Um, that would have been absolutely amazing, but we all know that hindsight is 2020. So some of us are asking, is, is Bitcoin going to go higher? Um, is it too late to get into Bitcoin? Uh, what if I get in now? Is the price going to drop? I mean, it's way up there. Now, some analysts are saying it's just going to tank. Some said that it wouldn't even get to 7,800, which it reached yesterday, 7,841.41. I mean, that right there is, is a huge jump, and granted, it came back down, but that's because the SegWit 2 uh, hard fork scheduled for somewhere between November 13th and 16th was actually canceled. Um, it was canceled because it really had uh, the Bit Bit community or Bitcoin community uh, split. And in my mind, with the Bitcoin community split, uh, it's kind of like strength in numbers. I talked about this a little bit yesterday. It's kind of like strength in numbers. Um, if you if you got a million people that have to hold something up, for instance, and you split that, and it still needs a million people to hold it up, but you only got a million people and half a million and half a million, neither of them are going to stand if they each need a million. So I kind of understand that. They they. they it was not the best time for this hard fork. That's just in my mind. And uh, the Bitcoin community worked that out. It wasn't like, hey, it's going to happen. It has to happen. No, it, the Bitcoin community worked it out. And what did they end up doing? They ended up canceling the hard fork. So prices dropped a little bit. People are uncertain. There was also a lot of profit taking too. There's people not knowing what it's going to do. It goes from 7,000, 6,900, 7,000, 7,100, all the way up to 7,800. Um, in just a matter of what hours, let's take a look at Coinbase real quick. We'll go to the dashboard and check it out. Um, yeah, let's go for the last day. As you'll be able to see, yesterday, I mean, yesterday morning even. So we we were down. Even on the 7th, we were down as low as 706868 and that was on the 7th at what? At 3 p.m. And by the 8th, by the 8th, we were up to 77.11. So almost 12 hours later, there was a big jump. You saw a lot of people profit take. That's why it went down. You saw some more people see, okay, well, I can get into it low at 72. And now it's come back and then it's dropped again. You're going to see people profit taking. This video, guys, is to let you know that Bitcoin is going mainstream, okay? And some people have said, well, what, what do you mean? It's everywhere now. Uh, is, isn't Bitcoin going mainstream already? This is a time to still get into Bitcoin, and there's different ways to be able to get into it, guys. Here is the big one right now. This is why they're saying, and this is why I am saying, that Bitcoin is going mainstream. So, CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, is has announced they announced uh a couple of fridays ago that they will be launching bitcoin futures sometime in the fourth quarter of 2017. this right here is absolutely amazing for a lot of people this is amazing for uh, this is a great thing for people who want to get into bitcoin but a they don't want to sit there biting their nails at the steep fluctuations of 100 200 300 500 dollars 800 dollars up and down daily they just don't, they don't want to worry about that. Um, 
and they want some people want something that's backed more by the government. Now, obviously, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are not backed by the government or any one uh, government or entity. So, uh, what uh, what this means is this means that the people who want something that is more backed by the U.S. that has that gives them a little bit more comfort. They are going to be able to invest in these futures, just like they can invest in and trade in orange juice futures and cattle futures and hog futures. Uh, they're going to be able to trade in Bitcoin futures. Now, they're saying that there's not going to be more than a 20% price swing per day. That's great because if you look, I mean, if you look back, uh, some of the price swings that you see, 10, 15 you know, in the last week, it's only been 2%, but in the, in, in the last day, it was huge swings, huge swings. And that just makes some people nervous. Now, they'll, again, CME announced that they soon uh, will be offering Bitcoin futures. Now, the price of the digital currency took a big upward swing. Now, however, CME, uh, they, they say that they say their CME is saying that the futures are going to uh, they're going to stop Bitcoin's synonymous volatility. Now, there, it says CME will be putting in place special price fluctuation limits that will help protect investors from the notorious price swings. But these same protections could also uh, help ease the price swings and make digital currency settle down some. Um, people that did not want to get into Bitcoin before this are going to flock in droves to get into Bitcoin and the money is going to come because you're going to get funds that are going to come in here uh, trading funds and, and, and investment funds and mutual funds and different stuff like that uh, you, you, it, they're going to jump in here, which some are already doing in Bitcoin, but more are. And that's just going to make things stronger. Now, see, CME groups, uh, Leo uh, Melamede says that they're going to tame Bitcoin. Now, I don't understand how they're going to tame Bitcoin. A lot of these uh, a, a lot of these analysts, I believe, are, are looking at this in a whole uh, different light than what it should be. Um, they're looking at it as an asset. They're not looking at it as a currency. They're also saying that it's a bubble, that it will pop or go down. But this is the difference between like a stock market or, or a segment of stocks like the dot-com bubble. They were hedging and betting on ideas. and They were hedging and betting on websites. And, and the only way that these people were going to be able to get their money back was if these websites or if these new businesses made money. Bitcoin's not into making money. So Bitcoin's price doesn't fluctuate on how much money or how well Bitcoin performs. Bitcoin's price fluctuates on how many people want to get into the Bitcoin market. That's what it's about. And as more people come to the market, it A, it makes it stronger. B, um, there's more people there, the less likely. The more people that are involved, the less likely it is to fall. You know, and that's that's where I'm at. So now that we see futures, uh, uh, CME doing futures, um, I believe that we're going to see a lot more companies than just CME in the future doing this, legitimizing it in the eyes of, uh, of many, many investors in the United States is going to make them want to put more money into it or put some money into it if they don't have any money at all. That means... That this is the time, guys. If you can get into futures, Bitcoin futures, it, it, as soon as they're available, it's almost like getting into Bitcoin when it was five, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, six hundred dollars a coin. Um, you're still going to see that price jump. While we saw it go up to seventy-eight hundred yesterday and drop all the way down to seventy-one, seventy-two hundred, I still stand firm that by the end of Friday you will see Bitcoin surge and be over 8,000 and stay strong over 8,000. For the past few weeks, it was way oversold or uh, uh, way over, was it overbought or oversold? Overbought. So it needs to get oversold. 
bring it down a little bit so it, it's right even. It's got to correct itself. Everybody said it was jumping up. Yes, and it could can be considered a bubble had it kept jumping, but it's dropping down. It's correcting itself. It's evening out. As you can see in uh, here over the last year, you'll see where it starts to go and then drops a little bit. It goes up and then corrects itself and comes down. Goes up and then corrects itself and comes down. Goes up, comes down a little bit. Goes up, really corrects itself and drops down. Goes up, goes up, kind of corrects itself, goes up. And then if you do all, then it's still going. But you can see in the graphs right in here where it goes up and it corrects itself and it goes down and it corrects itself. And now it's just not one of those parts where it's doing its correcting, guys. Um, if it continues to shoot straight up, that's when I believe that there's an issue. Right now, 7202.34, guys, I would be buying Bitcoin. Seriously. I, as a matter of fact, let's buy some Bitcoin. And it won't get into my account. See, I'm kind of pissed because Ethereum was $299 yesterday and I was going to buy some Ethereum and now it's $320. Now it's $320. It said to jump $32. Litecoin was chilling right at about $55 for a long time and it's up $62.89. What you see when the Bitcoin was dropping in price, you see a lot of people that were coming in and uh, uh, a lot of people were coming in and, and, and trading and switching some of their Bitcoin for Ethereum and for Litecoin. So that's why you were seeing some of those prices go up. I think that you'll consider or you'll continue to see uh, some of those prices go up. So let's see. I'll go ahead and buy $100 of Litecoin. It's 1.54197066 Litecoin. That way, because I believe that you need to you need to diversify uh, your wallet. That's one thing that I like. Oh, I got to make sure it's all right on that account. Hold on, guys. I'll do this. I'll do this on a video here a little bit later. I want to. I want to check and see. Um, that's 78 Litecoin. I want to check and double check my bank account. That's my Bitcoin account, bank account. Now I just want to make sure that I've got monies in there. You see Bitcoin's still dropping, so I'd set that alert and buy. Anyways, guys, Bitcoin's going mainstream. I don't want to drag this out any longer. Futures trading from CME coming up. Lots more. Watch out for ICOs. I'm going to start doing an ICO alert, uh, crypto convo show at least once a week. But... Don't forget, guys, hit that subscribe button, mash that post notification bell, leave a comment below, and when you leave your comment below, make sure you leave your Bitcoin wallet so I can go ahead and send Bitcoin over if you win. Guys, I'm going to start giving away 0 .003 Bitcoin um, a day, approximately $15, $20 in Bitcoin per day to those who answer or who ask amazing questions to one selected person, I should say of amazing questions or comments in the comments below. So make sure you comment, make sure you share, hit the subscribe button, mash that post notification bell. It's time to take massive action in your life. Why not do something to help your life get better? If you want to join my BitConnect uh, lending team, then go ahead and click the links in the description. Maybe you want to uh, start mining. I do cloud mining and I use Cash Flare and Genesis Mining. There's links for both of those down in the description. So if you're interested in getting mining going on, Cash Flare has one year contracts and Genesis Mining has two year contracts and they do payouts daily. So make sure you guys go ahead and check them out and start getting into this Bitcoin and cryptocurrency revolution. This is the BitConnector saying take care, have fun, and enjoy your investing.